Last week, we reviewed the Spider Farmer SF2000 24 inch by 47 inch grow tent kit, and I mentioned that it would pair up really well with an additional SF1000 light. Let's take a look at that setup, and here is a bit of a spoiler warning, it's amazing. If you missed it, I will leave a link to our previous review in the description below, and you will want to check that out after you finish watching this video so that you can compare the results. I am not going to go back over everything that comes with the base kit as it is all covered in that video. We are just going to go over what the addition of an SF1000 grow light does to the light levels. Adding an additional light into this tent is super easy and just requires a couple more ratcheting hangers. I have the SF1000 and the SF2000 connected with a single hanger and a clip in the middle and then another set on each end of the light. Using the included communication cable, you can connect the lights and control them both with a single dial, which is super convenient and worked out great when testing this. Once you have everything hooked up, it is good to go, so let's check out what the changes to the light levels ended up being. At full power, the combined lights are drawing 297 watts from the wall. They can be dimmed down to the point they are only drawing 31 watts from the wall, which matches up with what you would expect from these two lights. Their combined outside dimensions are 38.5 inches by 11.5 inches, which fills out the tent a lot better. For the light level tests, we are taking PAR readings inside of the tent itself with measurements taken every 6 inches. These measurements are all taken with the tent door closed to show what light levels you will see when using it to grow. At a 12 inch height, the PAR reading in the center is over 1300 PAR, which is a couple of hundred higher than the SF2000, which is not surprising. What is surprising is just how much higher the edge light levels are even with the light this close to the floor. I would not run the light at these levels unless you are adding in CO2 as this will be too much for a lot of plants to handle. As I mentioned, these lights will pull 297 watts from the wall at full power and it goes down from there as you dim the dial. At 80 they pulled 228 watts from the wall, at 60 they were pulling 150 watts, at 40 they went down to 107 watts, at 20 it was pulling 65 watts, and finally at minimum they pulled 31 watts from the wall. Moving up to an 18 inch height and the center reading is now at just over 876 par, which is considerably higher than what the SF2000 was able to do by itself, and again the edge light levels are way better. This is a bit higher than I would want at the end of flower unless you are running additional CO2, though something in the 18 inch to 20 inch range would be great. You want to be sure to have plenty of ventilation going though as these lights do get warm and now you have two of them in here. We also took par readings with the lights dimmed and averaged what the results were which gives you the par x readings on the left. All of the readings shown on the screen are at full power and to get the light levels at different dim settings just multiply the par value by that number. For an example, the center reading at 18 inches is 858, but if we have the light set to 60, we would multiply it by 0.56 and get a result of 480, which will get you pretty close with all of the values shown. At a 24 inch height, the center level is down to 690, though the edge levels stay pretty close to where they were at 18 inches, with the walls being able to reflect more of the light down. This is where I would set the lights at full power for the first half of flower, transitioning to the 18 inch to 20 inch range for the end of flower. We are still using the Apogee SQ-420 Smart Quantum Sensor to take all of these measurements, and it is working out really well. It is just the sensor itself and plugs into a PC to get the readings, so it is a bit more affordable than their standalone units. We will leave an Amazon affiliate link to it down below if that is something you are interested in checking out. Moving up to 30 inches and the center reading is at 615, which would be a great place to have it for the end of the veg phase in a tent, especially with how the reflective walls bring up those edge numbers. You could also use the dimming function to achieve these numbers with a lower hanging height, which would save on electricity and heat, but the light spread right here is pretty amazing. Getting up to 36 inches and the center light level is at 530 par with a gradual drop off out to the edges. The light spread at this height is also great and this would work out well for the beginning to middle of veg. The nice part about these heights 
is that it keeps the heat from the light away from the plants, meaning there is less chance of accidentally getting some crispy leaves. Finally, with the light hung at 48 inches, the center light levels are 411 par with almost 300 par at the far corners. This height gives you some of the best light spread for plants in early veg and would let you grow a lot of small plants once they are ready for these light levels. For seedlings or very small plants, you're going to want to dim things down, but still having these light levels at this height is amazing in this tent. This tent is a great deal for someone starting out that wants something larger than a two foot by two foot grow tent. The addition of an SF1000 grow light is a game changer though, and with the side to side light levels so much better at every height and with the dimming function, you just have more options to adjust your light levels at the canopy no matter where your grow is at. If you have this kit, I highly recommend picking up the additional light. You will not be sorry that you did. If you want to check out this grow tent kit for yourself, we will leave a link to it on the Spider Farmer website in the description down below, and make sure to use code GEEKS at checkout to get a discount on your order. For those that prefer ordering from Amazon, we will leave an Amazon Associates link to it in the description down below as well. Using the Amazon affiliate links helps out the channel as we receive a small portion of the sale for sending you their way.